we're about to go in here, show you guys the whole like stock X process of selling here, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna show you how I sell it on the app right before we sell it. And let's go in. Make sure the size is right, make sure the date is right, 2019 bread. Right. Uh, list it up. Let's see. This is straight. Yes, sir. Damn, I need to get more talk about that now. Overall, it's a pretty good shoot. A lot of blue eggs, you cheat on my pet. Oh, dumb. It just comes from Paul George's. Don't mean that it's me. I clean up real nice. I don't got. video but today uh we're going to the stock x pop-up in atlanta if you guys did not know stock x is doing a pop-up in atlanta where basically if you sell some shoes on stock x you can go there uh they'll verify the shoe like not in front of you but they'll take it behind in the back they'll look at the shoe in front of you and they'll take it behind the back verify the shoe and then if your shoe is authentic they'll send you the payout and you'll basically get your money in a day instead of versus having to ship it to stock x wait till it gets to stock x have them take however long it takes to verify and then them say you get payout. So basically it's kind of like a faster way. I'm kind of happy they chose Atlanta. If you're selling shoes, you get paid fast. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to record the process of me going down there. Now this is probably like one of my, I'm not used to really, you know, recording like me going to do stuff like this. So uh, bear with the quality. I'm gonna try and get better, you know, over time. But make sure you, whoa, bro, I don't even know what my do-rag is looking like. I'm tweaking. But make sure you like this video, bro. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm about to start doing some more videos. I'm uploading every day this week. I will be consistent this week. Yes, sir, it's the first week of summer. So make sure you press the subscribe button, turn on that post notification bell, and like this video. This is Narrator Weather 1. We're about to head to the StockX pop-up right now. Back. All right, so look, me and my friend Jason, we, we copping right now. I just got the bread for us, and then he just copped the size 12 Air Max uh, day one. But I wanted these so bad, he hold me. But now I'm about to cop the uh, Zoom Rookies DS. Both of them, all three of these shoes are DS. We're about to go straight to the stockings, pop up, and sell them. Things clean, DS. But uh, I'm probably gonna go get me a blank SIM card and uh, open it up over the phone. Put some time on it, then then go back in the store. Jeez. Yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. All right. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before we went to the StockX pop-up, we had some shoes to buy first. I mean, and Jason, we went to go buy some shoes of this guy that I met. I bought the Galaxy Zoom Rookies DS, and then I also bought some Jordan Brett Forest DS. Jason brought the uh, Have a Nike Day Air Maxes DS as well, so we can both go sell them to StockX and make some money. That's why I see these couple clips of just like us looking at shoes. Now, all of a sudden, you hear this computer start speaking the end. All right, so look, all right, so look, these are the three shoes that me and Jason are bringing into a uh, stock X. Can you show them the label for logo? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're about to bring these three shoes. I cannot do this thing. The first pair is the DS Galaxy Rookies. These is clean, bro. These are fire. I was thinking, should I hold these? Nah, nah, bro. Just sell them now. Cause you don't know how to the resale can go with those. All right, so we got the rookies. These are Jason's. The Air Max have a Nike day. He did rob me because I did want these. DS also. Clean. Next, we got the Jordan One Bread Fours size seven. And I really want to see what they legit price is gonna be because I got the receipt. Loki, should I keep this in my pocket just in case? Yeah, just in case. Just in case. And if they say they fit, just pull out the receipt. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, yeah, you try. <laughs> From Nike, we're about to go in here, show you guys the whole like stock X process of selling here, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna show you how I sell it on the app right before we sell it. And let's go in. Make sure the size is right. Make sure the date is right. right. 2019 bread. Right. Uh, list it up, and then as soon as it gets sold, we can bring it up to us. So we're checking in for What's time? Right. Thank you. Yeah. Stock X ATL. Yes, sir. So first, I'm about to list the uh, Nike Zoom rookies. You can see. I know that glare is kind of bad, but that's the sell now price. But I'm not trying to wait, so I'm just gonna press sell now. Uh, make sure it's size 12. The rookies are the box. Uh, I gotta trade these. 
time to say. Bro, okay, mine's loading up. Hopefully it confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Alright, mine's just disconfirmed. You just confirmed? Yeah, mine is confirmed. Just confirmed. So I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, they just sent me the notification. We just sold your item. So I'm gonna select size seven right here. I'm gonna do the sell now, which I'll get two hundred dollars and sixty-four cents. I got these below resale. Plug, check both of these. Loading, 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 loading. Order confirmed. How you doing, bro? You're here till the 19th, you said? Yeah, 19th of All right. Stock X pin, two Stock X stickers, and then Stock X chaps. Wait, do I get two of these? I'm doing two shoes or is it just one? Yeah. It's just one. Yeah. Chapstick, I'm really gonna use the chapstick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did not know y'all had chapstick. Yeah, it's just a giveaway. So if I come here tomorrow, I'll get a chapstick too. Uh, well, we still have it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta I got, I got see, got see if we can get more. All right. They have pictures they have on the wall, yeah, Fox. Cool. So everything's checked in. As soon as it gets authenticated, you should get paid out. It should be within an hour. An hour? Okay. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely will. All right, man. Take care. Appreciate it. All right. Okay, so at this point of the video, me and my friend Jason, we just got our shoes verified. StockX has this hall of fake, like kind of like beside the verification tables and stuff like that, or wherever the front desk is. I'm showing you like what they have in the hall of fake. So I think there's a Rolex, a backpack, some off-white Jordan ones, uh, a Spox logo, and you'll see the rest, but I just wanted to make sure you guys, you know what's going on, because I know like this video quality of me like, I'm not used to recording in public, so I'm trying to make sure I'm trying to make sure y'all stay in line about what's going on. So that's what's happening. The off-white European exclusive ones. So they say like what's wrong with Jordan One uh, retro high off-white pair. Or well, this is the name. I'm tripping. Zip ties unauthentic. They said. You think you can tell anything with the zip tie? Zip tie. I guess like you're looking at the hole. Maybe the hole might be too big. I don't know. I don't know much about the zip Facts ties. Facts the same. I'm not good with off-whites, period. Uh, they also said material finish is incorrect and has a distinct odor. Didn't know that. And shape of the shoe is inconsistent. I don't even know if I can tell if anything's inconsistent or this. Well, I can't really tell. These aren't that bad fakes besides this right here. I don't know. Is this supposed to be this bold or isn't it supposed to have a shadow? Because I remember the last sneaker event we went to, they said something about a shadow. Oh, yeah, I remember that. All right, let's see. The Supreme Box logo, Ball Winner 17 Rush. Font on Wash Tag has, is mishappened and not personally per properly aligned. What else? Brush fleece fabric used is incorrect and the wrong weight. Wrong weight. Yeah. It feels heavy, though. Yeah, it does feel heavy. I don't know about it. Can't really tell anything off the... Damn, Brody. Yeah, I try to feel it. it Loki, it does kind of look yeah. not even though. I don't know. Yeah. No, on iron here is where they're talking about uneven. I think. Oh, this. Oh, uh, but I'm saying like this don't even look. Yeah. I can't centered. really tell. Yeah, it's centered like yeah. with the top of the because I know you're supposed to line yeah. it up with I'm this. Pretty, I'm pretty, is it, is it it's supposed to go between. I think it's either this or it's supposed to go between this, but it don't look like it's going yeah. between either. Honestly. Yeah, it looks like it's just kind of straight through the heart. Right. Color of box logo embroidery is incorrect. Oh well. I guess there's that. Then the Louis backpack. And this would be nice though if it was real though. But date code is misplaced. That's tough. I don't even know where that yeah, is. They, they got the incorrect color. Like For real? Incorrect color. Yeah. The incorrect color? Yeah. So it is tough. And this one says fabrication of lining is incorrect. So I guess probably some stitching or something like that. But dang. And then the Rolex. Mind you, I don't know about any of this. These is the stuff I'm actually not good at authenticating, but they got a fake Rolex. Rolex Submariner 11 6610. Case, bracelet, and clasp are all incorrect. Action of bezel is too loose. 
movement is ch Chinese and poor quality. I don't know what that means. Does it work? Oh, no, it don't work. <laughs> that is tough, though. And that's, I guess, back there, but I don't think we can go back there. Nah, no, no. there's no. Okay, kind of deep. Right now, Facts. But that's it. This is the StockX store, our pop up shop. The picture is fine. It's kind of basic in here. They got a TV. How to make sure you have a StockX account. Make sure you've accepted your bid for the item. Have a StockX account email on hand. All right, this, that's it. Oh, yeah, look. You got to receive your payment soon once you add me at that together. That's fine. Thank you. Take care, guys. Have a good day. You too. All right. So we had just, I just put on my off white Prestos and then, well, yeah, you might have to record it. Yeah. Jason was showing that the hole in this zip tie is way smaller than the other one, so I guess those actually were fake. But yeah, this thing is way, way noticeable. I can notice it from here. Yeah, like you could, from the other ones, you could see like the hole if you were like over there, like by that car or some That's shit. That's tough. So I'm driving, uh, Jason just sent me his uh, PayPal email. Uh, receipt that he just got so StockX did pay him for his shoes, bro. Now it's probably been about an hour hour and a half about there I wouldn't say two hours, but I'm driving and bro. I'm in Atlanta So I'm not trying to get in the accident. So I'm gonna hit y'all when I get back to the crib So we are now back at the crib, bro, and I got paid from StockX. StockX has sent me both of my emails for uh, Both of my pickups. I'm about to show you guys right now Man, I don't want to show y'all like and I guess any personal information transfer initiated, hopefully if it like focuses. Basically the transfer has initiated for both of my uh, shoes, my Zoom rookies, and also my Jordan bread fours that I had caught. And I actually caught these this day. That's how fast the process is. It takes about, I would say like total, for me it took maybe an hour and a half to get my money uh, right after I left. That's about it, it was pretty simple. I messed with it. I really hope they can stay longer than the 19th, but they said they're here from May 1st to the 19th. So I'm gonna try and abuse it as much as possible. I'll probably try and go back in there and try and make some more videos. Comment down below if I should try and bring them some fake shoes. I've been thinking about it. I don't know if it'd be a good idea and I don't know if I would get charged for it, but let me know if you think I should try and do that to StockX.